works. No bitters. They've got bite. No blood. Bitters got bite. <laughs> and no, no blow. Blood. blood. Oh, no blood. I'm like, no, blood. no blow either. What's this stuff over here? Uh, bite, no blood. Explains <laughs> <laughs> a lot, Derek. There's a lot of people always say, "Wow, you must run speed." Your... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Right. Uh, Someone's weird to it. My bad. Is that chocolate? No chum cages. <laughs> no chum, no cages. But no chum, just chumminess. But you know what? Here's chum, two chum, things. Chum, chum. You're gonna learn something about like bitters. Chum. Yeah. Again? Again, you're gonna learn something My about bitters. My brain's gonna explode. In C, there will be no fake stories that are supposed to be real. It's all real truth. Oh, the Megalodons. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's there's no Megalodons and all those things. There's yeah. no bitter right. tornadoes. Megalod there's no secret bitter that makes you pucker so much you pull your mouth muscles. No, nope. that doesn't exist. That none of that's bitter, just in their bitter, origin. Then. That's all nado. Snopes. There's no bitter nados. Okay. Bitter nados. Right. So drink the bitters too quickly. You'll have a bitter nado. Your face will freeze. <laughs> Heard that in a place. Yeah. We are going to make an old fashioned. This is like old. You'll go blind if you keep. Wait a minute. That's a different story I've heard. Uh, um, <laughs> we're going to make the old fashioned. This time, yeah. we're going to make it twice again because we've been doing that and that seems to work out. We're going to make two different versions. He's going to make one, you're going to make one. You're going to make the traditional old fashioned. He's going to make the uh, slightly modified one I saw on cocktails.about.com. That sounded like a good idea. I think that's where it was. I don't remember. Um, this one is if going not, to be. We gave you props anyway. Right. Somebody's getting props. Facebook's getting props. Facebook.com slash cocktail TV because I asked, what is your favorite bitter cocktail? And tons of people said old fashioned. Hmm. All so right. we got to do it. We've got bourbon. I like it. Right here. So we're going to use Woodford Reserve. We're going to do Woodford Reserve. We're going to do a quarter of an ounce. Can we do a quarter of an ounce? You can do a yeah, splash. I don't care. Do a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Um, you're lost. This is how you're going to do it before you guys get all confused. You're going to do a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. You want to pour about a quarter of an ounce in there. You're going to take that quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. We're not going to need that. You're going to then pour it into the glass. Once you have it poured in the glass, here's yours. You're going to add to yours your these Scrappy's chocolate bitters. Scrappy's chocolate. You're going to add number 47, hand labeled. Uh, just do like three dashes. Dash, dash, dash. There. Oh, I got it on my hand. Oh, suck ah. it up. Is my hand going to melt? No, but you okay. can drink it. It's not. If it was going to melt, putting it in the cocktail would kill you. Well, you don't know if the alcohol just <laughs> stops dying. It. It yes, it neutralizes. You're going to do the same thing. You got a quarter ounce in there yet? Yep. Yes. Now you're going to add three dashes of ang You want to use Angostura because that's the classic, what they typically would use? Sure. Angostura aromatic bitters. And now what you would do if you wanted to do it without simple syrup, you use a cube, sugar cube. It makes it a little easier to measure, and you dump your bitters onto the sugar cube. Right. But with this, it makes it a little easier because we don't have to deal with all sugar the craziness. Cube. Now you're going to stir. And our grocery uh, store doesn't have sugar cubes. They yes. Don't. You're going to take some ice. Put your ice in there. Write your yeah. local comments. So it was like a run when school ended, and they haven't got them back since. Mm. You know why? Because everybody's making sugar Projects. cube castles. Yep. What? Really? How much ice? That much? That's fine. Yeah. You want to stir it up a little bit? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> or you can use that. The base is too big. <laughs> You're going to need more. <laughs> All your base are belong to us. So what Ian is doing is he's taking and he's going to bring down, take the bitters and the simple syrup. He's going to chill it, but really he's dil you're diluting. Let the ice melt a little bit. There you go. Butter. They're going to dilute some of the ice. It's going to take your lime. We're going to twist it in here. We're going to toss it right in there. That's an orange. It's an orange. We're going to take your orange, express some of the oils, yeah. some of the dump zest that in there. there. We're going to get the zest in there. Now, whoa, that was different. We're going to add some bourbon. Boom. Whoa, two ounces of bourbon is going to go in there next. Dibs. His grandma's clothes. Oh, hey, how's it going? Have two ounces of bourbon, Doug. Oh, thanks. Mm. Bourbon. Oh, that looks nice, old fashioned. Now, ice it up. More ice. More ice. Holy crap! Ice me. Icing the, is another thing. It is. Are you familiar with icing? Yeah, Doug? it's on, on. You put it on. Yeah, that's uh, an off ice. hockey term. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. You know, smearing off ice icing? You gotta hide like a smearing off ice in somebody's office or something, and if everybody's playing the game, 
they have to drink it immediately when they find it. Oh, <laughs> I see. At work? No, Wherever. That, that was anyone. You can get fired from that. But in, they, my, in my profession. Don't. <laughs> in many professions. Only do it where it's acceptable. You can do it on the golf course. You're yeah, your buddies are icing. It's like the, the, icing the, is always the, on. Actually, the, the guy that I heard it from uh, was from that's good. Des Moines. And, and it was called it was it was called Bro Ice Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Bro Ice Bro. Yeah. And it, exactly that. Like you, you well hide a Smirnoff Ice. Yeah. And, and then like it, in the event somebody finds it, they like, have to you drink have it to immediately. And it. the great thing is it's nice and warm by the time they find it too. So you have to taste it. All right. You've got your simple syrup or sugar. Oh, I just made a mess of this whole minute. Oh. Wow. <laughs> um, you should I lick it. Oh, yeah. Every time you make a mess, I, you gotta lick it. I had oh, no that. idea that there was uh, yeah. there was a term. That, no, that there there was like out in the wild, yeah. bro. I bro. Yes. <laughs> oh, everything's out in the wild. That is an old fashioned. <laughs> it's a black hole sun according to Carrie. <laughs> oh. Or the black hole sun. You've got only three things. You've got your bitters. You've got your simple syrup. And you've got your bourbon. Very classic. It's got. Uh, garnish, you're going to put a cherry on top, and it's going to probably sink in, depending on how uh, your ice is. Mine's sunk. And, and a little bit of uh, some citrus peel. What's this? Is it potent? Yeah, it's a really good cocktail. <laughs> I'm so upset about that. Oh, man, that's a really good like, cocktail. <laughs> reminds me of High Fidelity with John Cusack. Have you seen that movie? Mm -hmm. I just listened to her album. It's really fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> The chocolate doesn't come out so much. I think it needs more. That is, no, it's there. It's in the finish. Is it? Just wait. Uh, if I just sit there, well, maybe because I, I had that wait first. Long enough. It has it a little bit. It can be a little more pronounced. Let's pronounce that. But it's there. <laughs> He's gonna let Ian pronounce this a little more. Just As it is with good. just the, with with the with a couple dashes. It's after that alcohol potency starts to evaporate from your tongue, you get a little bit of like a dark European chocolate. Mm. This is a little more like after it's after that flavor burns off, it's just more burnt. But a little no, I can actually smell it. But I like the I like the the sweet and the the subtle citrus and the yeah, it's oakiness and the that's there now. It's still good. And then like the just the mouth feel. I think just, this makes. Um, some bourbon is better. I almost get like a peppermint. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. It's fucking my tongue. <laughs> you said it. It happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Normally it's the other way around, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, like that? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> we believe you, Derek. It's really good. Anyway, <laughs> you know what aside I mean. from that, back to bitter week. <laughs> You can get both chocolate bitters of bitter mints and scrappies and probably other I don't know who else makes chocolate bitters. Whoever it happens to be, and they'll probably all be completely different. Like this oh, and no this doubt. Yeah. Yeah. are like this is They're very similar to completely nice, comparing nice. it to Hellfire Abanero bitters and chocolate. I mean it's, bitters. Yeah. Uh, so you get like that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. You get the you get a completely different experience. So there's no reason to say, oh, I've had chocolate bitters. I've been there. I don't need to do that again. The question of the day: Have you really ever had a, a rug that tied your room together? <laughs> like literally? Yeah. Like literally? Uh, no. I like a tassel rug with extra long tassels. Yeah, that you <laughs> tied the corners of the room. You literally tied the room. I think together. he. I think he was more metaphysical. In a sense, oh, okay. or maybe more not medic physical, but as much as like um, it actually uh, looks. Good. All I'm saying is, as opposed to tying color harmony. Have you wall. have you ever had a rug that was like, yeah, if I didn't have this rug, this room would look like shit. Work. As a second question, if you don't have rugs like we have hardwood, <coughs> what is your favorite spice? Yeah, throw rugs. Um, spice. What's your favorite spice? Like uh, we were talking earlier in the hmm. week about Tony's. Um, oh, you know, it's more of a little, yeah, like a oh, spice. It's a pepper. If like, I like adobo. you put pepper, look at this guy. Adobo. Adobo. That's a spice. Yeah. Yeah. You've a spice seen blend. That? Yeah. Um, yeah. Goya adobo. Have. What do you yeah. think, Doug? Yeah, right adobo. over there. Just throw it's it on hot. fire. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I only took one drop. He's like squeezed a whole drop in your mouth. Oh, why would you do that? Because he, <laughs> <laughs> he likes to take everything to the extreme. I want to laugh. But I feel bad for him right now because I know the fame. We're teaching you how to drink! Bitters. 